friends, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar. I am here with a timeless pick a card reading and we are going to be looking at your financial predictions. So what is happening in your finances in the future? What should you know about? What kind of trends and weather awaits you? Where are things turning? That's what we're going to be looking at in this reading. So four cards, four different groups. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have one, two, three, four. I want you to tune into your intuition and see which group is calling out to you. And you will find the timestamps down below in the description box. So few announcements. I have finally made an astrology channel. It's going to be like basically just astrology, no tarot, okay? So I'm gonna be doing a lot of teaching there as well. And in the meantime, I've been working on a big series uh, that I will be posting, but in the meantime, I'll post shorts and stuff like that, uh, just little facts and things like that. And I have some courses planned as well that I'd like to develop, especially for helping people understand the seventh house more. But yeah, so I'm really excited for that. If you want to join, I'll have uh, a link here, maybe on the screen or somewhere. <laughs> and then if you want to join the membership of this channel, you can get exclusive content that way. So yeah. So anyway, I will stop and shut up now, <laughs> but thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your loving support and kindness. And hopefully uh, this video finds you well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey friends, if you chose group number one here with the smoky quartz, this is going to be a reading. So financial future, let's look into it. So let me cleanse the area before you begin and we'll see what's coming through. So we're going to start with the Celtic Lenormand and I have two cards here and we've got the letter and the chickens in this case. Now, of course, the chickens still represent the birds, but in this particular deck, there are actually three different types of bird cards, which is really interesting and fun. So chickens, of course, represent abundance, actually, because they give us so much eggs, meat, you know, all that sort of thing. And so to me, this can mean that some of you are going to be getting a communication of some kind, some sort of letter back that is quite abundant. Chickens, you know, in the, in the Norman, the chickens or birds, I guess it would be birds usually, uh, represent the idea of maybe like nervous chatter, gossip, that sort of thing. If some of you have worried about whether or not you blew an interview specifically, I feel like this actually may mean that there will be communication coming through regardless, okay? So a special message for some of you. The other thing that we could see here as being really positive towards finances is that there's some sort of communication coming in and this may include quite a lot of people. So it could mean that you're attracting more attention if you have your own business as an example or you rely on things like social media, okay? So that might mean more chatter happening around you, more things happening in your life, uh, more people talking about you, more people finding you, okay? So let's see. What is coming up in the finances here for group number one, Spirit Guides? Three-Eyed Raven, as, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected. Whoa, okay, yeah. So we definitely have some sort of unexpected news coming your way, uh, for sure. And that's funny because, yeah, we have the birds and then we have a raven. So you're getting strong bird energy, which birds often symbolically represent communication for sure <laughs> so definitely some communicate communication so let me see uh what kind of communication is coming in terms of finances some sort of relief you guys okay this is absolute freaking relief in some way so if you're if there is something, because of course the birds, like I said, can represent kind of a, a more nervous energy. This also could talk about something that's being discussed around you, gossip, news, uh, so on and so forth. It's like some sort of communication comes in that's gonna relieve, uh, relieve that. Now we have the Eight of Cups. Now she looks fine and dandy actually to walk away. And I feel like some of you may be moving on to a new path and some of you might actually be following a soul calling because so the, the Eight of Cups actually, she has the Eight Cups, right? And she doesn't mind leaving them behind because she knows it's time to move forward and that she can't just stick with the same old, same old. 
you know, for forever. There's got to be some sort of development. And oftentimes I think of this card as representing sort of that soul pull to do something. And it's like, okay, I know I got to move forward. And we have the Ten of Swords. Now, some of you may have faced certain disappointments or there have been certain fears of outcomes. But this tells me with the Nine of Pentacles that there's mastery. Some of you may be really being able to rise your finances up despite hardships as well. So, I, gosh, this looks good. <laughs> you may also feel like, I feel like for some of you, if you've applied for something or you've been trying to get some sort of like job as an example, I think that there's some sort of communication where you thought you'd never hear back from. Okay. Interesting. Especially for those of you that have been really focused on loyalty towards an idea as well. Like you, maybe you feel a soul calling and you're like, I really, really, really want to do this. I know it's meant for me, but maybe it hasn't really gone anywhere or it's just not quite performing the way that you'd want it to. I feel like here your devotion will be recognized okay so whatever you're devoting yourself to this is going to be recognized in a financial sense okay uh you will get rewards for being diligent for persevering for sticking through and yeah i totally see this and and you're very powerful actually she who remains is powerful and it also shows again this idea of your own worth and i feel like in some ways that your self-worth financially is actually going to be very much validated in some way okay so i feel like something good's coming through for you guys for sure and we have she who brings light light serenity and beacon and in some way you may actually act as somebody who is some sort of beacon of hope for those around them and maybe you get like something that you thought you'd never qualify for or there's just something good coming through here okay so what is happening in terms of finances, the financial forecast? We got the fig vitality and Taurus is there. Of course, Taurus is ruled by Venus and it's got some money vibes to it. <laughs> okay, so some and productivity. Vitality and productivity tell me that you have the the ability P pumpkins as well very interesting i don't know much about figs but pumpkins take a while to grow and and for some of you especially if you're watching right now you're harvesting pretty soon this is actually going to be i would say fairly quickly within the next by the i would say to be honest i i would say by the end of november uh for sure if you're watching when i post this if not give it about three months next three months for you to see some strong results and again productivity i think is going to be at an all-time high and you're going to be able to get things done i also see with vitality that snake shedding old skin and sort of you know and i just feel this like a sense of you know kind of slithering <laughs> and, and getting through right now let me see here darn it i wanted to look at my book for this deck in particular and see what messages are in it but oh well we don't worry about that that's all right okay so financial forecast for those that chose guru number one. Oh, beautiful fish and we've got letter again letter came out so many times you guys have communication coming through uh, for sure. <laughs> and oh, wow. Okay, so we have the comet as well. So I want to talk about the fish. Now the fish is, this is a, by the way, the steampunk tea leaf fortune telling card. So it's not the Lenormand, which is interesting. So you got the letter twice, but in two different decks, two different systems. Now the fish is of course, in this deck also kind of has a similar meaning as in the Lenormand. Uh, and it talks about money coming, good luck, prosperity, promotions. These are some of the signs of abundance associated with the fish. And the fish can also be a sign indicating partnerships in financial affairs as well. But so maybe for some of you are partnering up with someone, but I don't feel like that's the case for most of you. I do feel a very independent vibe here, very solo, uh, to be honest. So I don't, I, I wouldn't think that. Uh, for most of you. I, I don't get that vibe. But yeah, we have 
letters, agreements, you know, documents coming in as, as a possibility, and they're all very promising. They sort of are shooting toward the sky. And as well, a comet can represent an element of surprise in financial matters as well. And it can't even talk about like some sort of small wind, windfall. And I think of comets as like something we watch, and, and it may be actually astrologically aligned for you to do really well uh, financially. So you might be having some good uh, transits that way, you know. But wow, we definitely have some money coming through for sure. And again, a very unexpected element to it. I think it would be quite a surprise. And in fact, I feel like just for some of you, I sense this uh, feeling of it's going to come like when you least expect it or when you think like all hope is lost. It's like there comes the finances to really <laughs> like rebound, rebound you. <laughs> so figs will show that you can and should look at what you have and what is going on with new eyes. Every single day gives us all the chance of a fresh beginning, but you will need to jump up and work for it. New life experiences are on offer and clarity will shine upon opportunities as well. Someone may be about to bring trouble to your sphere, so make sure you protect yourself. I don't feel like that's the case. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, now, if you do know that you have a certain negative energy in your life, maybe someone who's really down on finances or talks really crappy about them, isn't very supportive, then of course maybe kind of block out such energies. But I don't really feel like that message is for, for you. Productivity, the Kent Pumpkin. Your hard work, planning, and experience should be paying off now, and there is reason to keep going with what you're currently working on. Additional resources can be safely used, and there is indication of a promotion, windfall, or increase of some sort. There are good enough energies surrounding health and also fitness levels. So, and it says the challenge here could be failure to keep at these, keep up at these through neglect. So, make sure that you're very productive, and you know, kind of keep sticking to it, even if you feel like. Maybe it's hopeless, like, because there's this ten of swords feels like somehow there's a blockage, it, or it feels or it appears to you that you have a blockage. Maybe it's because you've tried for a while and it just is like, oh, this is not going anywhere. Um, or, you know what I mean, maybe you feel defeated a bit right now as you're watching this. And I feel like this is definitely something that can be overcome and actually, again, I feel like really strong good news coming in for you guys financially. So, oh, I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I'm glad I got to give you guys a good reading because this is, yeah, it was really positive and I'm just so fascinated that the letter, definitely communication, guys, watch out. Financial communication coming your way. And again, what you are devoted to, say like you're devoted to playing the lottery as an example and you're like, that'll never happen. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's like, gosh, like keep playing it. You never know because with the vibes you guys got, there's something like really abundant really fruitful coming towards you. And again, it comes with due diligence, with due effort, and don't give up, okay? I feel like sometimes, you know, and even myself, I get to that point where I'm like, oh man, just like, oh, nothing's going right, and that maybe it's just not meant for me, or something like that. And I feel like something that you guys are thinking about is meant for you right now, and it will lead somewhere, okay? So that is the strongest vibe I'm picking up for those of you that chose group number one. I really hope that this helped, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for those that have requested such videos. And if you're here, really, I appreciate it. It's not often that I'll get very many views on things that are not love readings. So if you're here, you're awesome. <laughs> and I'm glad that I, I'm glad that you're wanting to hear something a little bit different uh, and you're supporting me in this. I also want to say, if you do want more extra content, uh, I do have membership open here on the channel so you can join as a member and receive extra content. And yeah, and if you want personal readings, that's all on uh, my Etsy store as, as of this time of filming. Uh, always double check the description box to make sure that's current um, just in case in the future I switch things up. But yeah, uh, and uh, what else did I want to say? If you want to learn more about astrology, especially in terms of especially Hellenistic styles of astrology, but <laughs> I'm going to be, you know, working a lot more on my astrology channel, so go subscribe and see what is there. I, I, you know, I'm working on things. I have a bunch of things planned, so anyway, if you want to go start subscribing, notifying yourself for that, I would love it. I would really love it, but thank you so much for being here and sending you lots of blessings your way, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. If you've chosen group number two, 
let us see what is your financial forecast. What is happening financially? So, we have got this particular stone and three cards for you guys for the, from the Lenormand. So, this is these are your cards. So, we have the man. We have the snake shedding its skin, which is specific to this deck. And we have the fish. So, really, wow, this is interesting. So, I feel like some of you may be represented by the ma masculine energy. And this may be about you kind of finishing off a cycle and moving towards more abundance, okay? Now, for those of you that don't identify with that, I actually want to say that there might be a masculine energy coming into your financial sphere somehow or being impactful towards it. So, for, for instance, some of you, if you have like a partner as an example, this could be your partner making some great uh, changes here in, for the positive, maybe having more uh, wealth or finances, okay? So this might be actually coming via another person. It could also be coming via another masculine energy, whether it's a business partner, a friend, something like that, okay? We have yes. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. And I, I, I love it because the fish are flying. <laughs> They're like leaping up. So it's like something that's going to happen pretty soon that's going to make you jump for joy, literally. And I feel like, you know, it's salmon. And they have to like kind of like go back against the stream. And it, that means it could be rough, right? It's not easy. It's like you've been shedding a lot of of crap, I feel like somehow financially, maybe it's uh, your own mindset towards money as an example, but I feel there is some abundance coming, okay? The art of life, there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin and let your love dance in sight. Wow, wow. So some of you might be really putting yourself out there actually, and that's gonna help your finances. Some of you may be really getting over uh, the insecurities that you have that kind of keep you back financially you know and that could be like dependent upon you know maybe just not putting yourself out there not being proud or uh, outgoing of your own skills or talents and again you're not meant to be invisible and I feel like that's something that's somehow connected to the finances is that you're going to become more visible okay so what is coming in terms of finances financial forecast Oh, wow. She who frees, Carly. Liberation, unrestrained, and freedom. And then we have Estefania. Chains, bo chains, bondage, and release. She who surrenders. Wow. Release, bondage, breaking free, unrestrained. Wow. That's really interesting, especially because the snake shedding came out. And think about it if you're like, the skin, I, ima I imagine the snake, when it's shedding its skin, it feels itchy and annoyed and kind of like it needs to break free of it. And it's like somehow there's like some sort of like, maybe it's like a small film over your life, like where you're not allowed to like, it seems like you can't quite get out of it. It's like you're shedding something, certainly, certainly for you guys. You're definitely shedding something and going towards a more abundant uh, situation. Okay, so let me see here. I want to take some tarot. What is happening in terms of finances? You're knowledgeable. You have the ability to express something. Some of you might be quite smart about something in particular. Ideas also could be coming your way. As well that are going to bring abundance wow we have new opportunities coming in guys but the ace of pentacles so we definitely see some sort of money being handed to you or some sort of financial aid or help here okay now with the two of pentacles this can talk about ways in which you feel more some of you may be juggling more than one thing and some of you might actually be paring it down to one thing so if you've been like doing a side hustle as an example, but also at the same time trying to like work, I feel like some of you might actually be able to make that full transition. This feels full transition energy, okay? Where it's like you're not gonna have to focus on that other thing or, it, it, yeah, this is interesting. Now for others of you, you may be incorporating 
new possibilities into your career which are going to result financially well for you okay so this might be about you know undertaking some new possibilities like branching out like say for instance you had a business and you were selling soap it might be like i'm going to sell bath salts as well or i'm going to move into the candles as well you know or something like that there feels like an integration here um possibly for some of you in that way or like i said maybe you actually are able to focus on one thing rather than so many things uh and that might be actually really productive to you uh like i feel like again some of you watching may really have like maybe a side hustle and maybe you like you know are a massage therapist or reiki or you do something like maybe you're a tarot reader and it's like but you still have to pay the bills so you have your other job and i feel like for some of you it's like you can you're about to make some sort of transition to where you're kind of released and for some of you this also could be about living a more authentic life as well and yeah so anyway <laughs> that's what i'm seeing there so what is happening in terms of finances We have continuance and stock. So we have focus coming through. Hold on really fast. And continuance, let's see here. The future is assured and hope is all around for whatever is going on at the moment. Now is a brilliant time to work on your vision for the future on goals and reevaluating past decisions. Apples also align with the energy of love and especially on bringing romantic bonds closer. Look at the individual elements of situations a little more closely and be sure that you stand strong in your unique qualities. Keep your ideas to yourself at the moment. So of course it might be better for you to keep a lot of your ideas to yourself at this time, but it's kind of interesting because it does talk about standing strong in your unique qualities. And this may be about making money in a more authentically inclined way it's like you're more inclined to go the authentic route uh, or make money doing something that's very authentic to you and maybe for some of you there's a shyness here uh you know I'm, okay here's the thing when i saw the man card in lenormand you know i think as a society we often think of men as being bold and and all that sort of thing and it's like of course women are i mean come on but i'm not trying to say it that way but what i it almost feels like Sometimes I've seen a lot of men who just like don't often care too much about what other people think. And I, I, some of you may be kind of standing into that quality of just being like, I don't give a shit what other people think of me anymore. Like I'm done living my life for other people. And for some of you, that might be the vibe. Okay. But we're definitely seeing a move towards something more authentic and abundant. Okay. And it will bring abundance. That's the other thing too. Stock offers confidence, calmness, and a centered place to rest amid turmoil and change. It's time to focus, to think more deeply, and to slow down. Your personal truth needs some attention. Don't let it get lost in your present dealings. Stocks also indicate and lead you to a balanced place in emotional swings. And it says be careful of losing yourself amid the behaviors of others. So if you are noticing, and, and for some of you that's why, like in the first card, it kind of said keep your stuff to yourself. Other people might influence you somehow. And... You need to, to just be careful with what you speak about with your finances for some of you because it's just a, a better idea to keep some things to yourself, I think, at this particular moment in your life. Uh, not really speaking up about plans that you might have because I do feel like there's fruitfulness, okay, coming your way. Okay, finances. Oh my God, we have to fish twice. Oh, we have the automobile and we've got the lady. So lady two makes you think of this is a separate person actually. And for some of you, some of you are going to become a second version of yourself. I feel like, like a new version, to be honest, like part two. And some of you might even part two be going for something. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. Uh, now, the fish, of course, represents abundance, okay? So even in this deck, which is actually a tea leaf uh, oracle, it's so it's not Lenormand. And so the, the, one second, let me see here. The fish 
It says money is coming, good luck, prosperity, promotions. These are just some of the signs of abundance associated with the fish. Okay, we also can talk about indicating partnerships and financial affairs as well. So some of you might be, maybe someone at a distance wants to do a partnership or a collaboration and this is going to go well. Maybe it's going to bring a lot of fruitfulness to you. So if you've been thinking about collaborating with someone, especially a woman, especially a woman at a distance, that's your confirmation right now, guys, that that's a good deal. That's a good idea. Okay, now I know that's not going to resonate for everyone. So just keep in mind, that's a specific message. Now, the automobile can say don't overlook financial matters. Pull over and stop for a little while to think about any major financial decisions and how they might affect you and others. So, of course, there might be that idea as well. But to me, also, it's about progression. And with the fish, you know, you always want to be mindful about what is around that card. <laughs> you know, especially when you're reading like Lenormand and even tarot, it's, it doesn't matter. We want to look at the whole vibe. And to me, this is like abundance. That's, it's like there's a moving forward here. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> Focus on your goals right now. And, and again, it may be focusing on what you can do to improve. What kind of forward moments, movements can you make in your life right now? How can you move forward? Keep going. Because I do feel like there's that sense of transition and there is some sort of financial freedom. I feel like something's either getting paid or you're being released from something uh, financially. And that's going to be like a wondrous thing for you because I think it's going to bring uh, a much more liberated feeling in your life, okay? And that's what I feel like. Financial liberation is one of the biggest things for you guys. And again, closing off a cycle and starting anew without that nasty feeling, okay? So with that being said, I hope this reading was helpful. I really hope you liked it. If you want to, you can join this channel to get extra content. So I do extra pick of cards for the member section. So you can join up, up above. If, if it's still valid, I do personal readings and I sell them on Etsy as of now. I may have a website in the future, so I don't know for sure. Always double check the description box, but I don't solicit people. Don't fall for scammers. Okay, I'll never message you asking you to get a reading with me. It's just not something I do. I don't think it's something any tarot reader does, especially if they're busy and they stay busy like I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just don't have time to, I, I already have too much <laughs> sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I, I'm not the one to, to message people and I just don't feel like many are. Um, and anyway, so yeah, personal readings, whether it's tarot or astrology. And speaking of astrology, I finally made my own astrology channel. After 17 years of learning astrology, I finally made an astrology channel. And I can't wait to teach you guys on there some new things and some techniques I've learned over the years. And if you want to join me over there, I'm super excited <laughs> to, to see you. And I'm going to be working on a lot of shorts um, just for like kind of quick tidbits while I work on the bigger projects because I have some really big projects I'm working on. Um, so... Anyway, <laughs> uh, I hope that this reading found you well, and I wish you lots of blessings in this life, okay? Take care. Hello, my friends. So if you've chosen group number three here with the Rainbow Moonstone, this is going to be your reading. So we're, we're starting out with Lenormand cards, and I will be adding some tarot and some other things as we kind of unfold the message for you for your financial forecast. So... With that being said, let's get started. So we have the lilies and the man. So this is somehow <laughs> representing either you or somebody in your life that will affect you financially. So we can see a traditional man or a mature man, maybe even someone elderly with this placement. So there might somehow be an elderly man in your life or a more mature, older man in your life that's going to be somehow impactful towards you. This could be like a boss. It could be a father figure, an uncle, a relative of some kind. It could be somebody who's going to be coming in. But somehow this man proves to be somehow important in the future. Okay. So of course, this could also represent the idea that you yourself are very mature and working on mature goals. Okay. Now, let's see, what is coming up financially? That was uh, quickly. <laughs> we have a fig here. And, ooh, grapes. Very nice. Okay, 
So we have got abundance showing up. So I'd like to say that you're headed towards some sort of abundance. Vitality and the fig card in particular can talk about looking at things with new eyes. This also can talk about every day giving us a chance of a new fresh beginning, but the need to work on it and get it done. Okay, so, but this often will bring new experiences and clarity and about any sort of financial dealings, of course. And yeah, so this is pretty po popular, positive, pop popular. I was going to say popular. Maybe some of you will be popular, <laughs> but, or that's something you're working towards being popular in some way, but yeah. So we also have the abundance card with grapes and I actually haven't read that card in quite some time. Oh, you know what else is really weird, you guys? Look at this. We have 32 and 23, same numbers, just backwards. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? So what two plus three means five. Okay, so maybe some of your life path five or five is somehow really relevant here in this reading, which can talk about sort of a, a lot of action or energy. So let's see here. The water fruits, grape. Stay where you are and grow what you need there, as this is a fertile time and place. Grapes will indicate that magic is about, especially from the garden, so get out there as you will find opportunity and inspiration. Family stability, happiness and tradition, and the way they can support you are all things that should be remembered and implemented. Don't be disingenuous and be careful not to cancel appointments. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Don't cancel appointments. Okay. So yeah, this can talk about family stability, happiness, and tradition. Some of you may be following in your family's footsteps, or maybe some of you are going to be getting some sort of financial help or assistance from a family member, an older family member. Okay. What is coming up financially? Estefania, she who surrenders, chains bondage and release. So this might be about breaking free from certain chains, certain things that uh, are binding you as an example. And we have Makita, she who sees, observe, perceive, and scrutinize. Really interesting. Some of you may be really uh, breaking out of certain things uh, financially. So some of you may be uh, getting rid of debt or, you know, kind of hitting things that way. Okay. Is what I'm feeling. And again, it might take a lot of vitality, it might take a lot of work, but you're gonna get through that, okay? Let's see here. What is coming up financially? The death card. I do feel like some of you are gonna be inheriting or something like that. I'm just going to say, okay, so you might have some family, uh, maybe there's someone that's going to leave you some money in the near future. I, I hate saying that. I'm just going to say it though. Oh, God, I hate saying that because then some of you are going to really stress and I don't want you to. I feel like most of you would know this already. Okay. Uh, so don't try to make something there. That's not, don't start imagining everyone's dying. Or say, okay. Please don't. Yeah. I feel like you would know this is coming. Okay like something that's been long drawn out or something like that, okay? Okay, now that I cleared that up, it's not gonna say, it's not gonna be something that comes out of the blue, okay? So if you're watching this and you're like, well, I don't know who it could be. Was my dad gonna die or something like that? No, 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 please don't go there. Don't even go there. That's for the people that know. They're anticipating it, they're waiting for it, okay? With the hanged man, you, you would be waiting for such a, an outcome, okay? Now, <laughs> okay. <laughs> With that being said, there also could be a, a man investing or some sort of, uh, by the way, a man who could be helping. There could be a man who's actually observing you and wants to sort of help you in some way financially. This might be offering you a job as an example. Some of you could be working with like language or communication of some kind or even handicraft or doing something kind of technical as well. I feel like a lot of you are really manifestors and you are manifesting something, but I do feel like that there is a, like a slight blockage here. I don't know. Seven of Wands almost makes me feel as if like some of you, you are above the rest. And it may be that sometimes you feel like it's a struggle, that things are working against you, but you are going to come out on top somehow financially. Okay. 
oh, this is what I wanted. What doors opening financially or what do they need to know about the doors that might be opening? We have secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar in friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. Hmm. So this could be about maybe artwork. Maybe some of you are, are going to make money from art. I wonder if some of you have had some sort of secret project on your mind that could bring you some sort of abundance. Uh, ooh, interesting. Maybe some of you are going to inherit some sort of artwork. No, but here it says wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. So again, there may be some sort of familiar way in which you're making money or that your money is increasing, okay? This could be from something that you've already pre previously done or previously been working on, that sort of thing. And then we have change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. And that's another interesting one here. Seeking the familiar, but then for some of you, there's that change. And then we've got intuition. Simple, complex. Words of pain or words that heal. You, you come to know the truth by the way that it feels. Yeah. That's really interesting. You come to know the truth by the way that it feels. Does it feel like pain? Does it feel terrible? Or does it bring a sense of excitement and joy? And some of you may be working on that a lot uh, as an example. And some of you may even implement that in terms of your purchases and how you spend your money as well. Is this something that will bring you more like pain later on? Or in temporary joy or will it be something that will bring joy for a long time in your life so some of you may be cutting out certain habits that you have and really sticking up for some of your higher goals and i feel like that there might be a sense of maturity really coming to you financially as well for those of you that maybe have been perhaps maybe overspenders as an example i don't feel like that's the case for most of you but just in case i could see like way more financially beneficial habits developing in you and that sort of thing. Again, you might have secret changes that you're hoping to implement, and I would say that would bring you money. Okay, finances. What's happening financially? Oh, we've got the airplane. Lady 2 and automobile. So we have travel. Wow, uh, strong travel vibes, by the way. Now, let's see. Now, I know the automobile, when it comes to finances, can represent the idea of pulling over and taking a look at your finances. And maybe that's something that you, some of you have been doing. Okay. This can talk about mm, taking a while to take some time to think about what you want to invest into. So some of you may be more cautious with your money or your urge to be a little bit more cautious in terms of like making big changes, kind of taking things slow in a way. But at the same time, we have airplane, long distance travel, and it can talk about radical changes, not always in a good way. Haste equals waste, so think longer and clearer if yours is a wise or rash, rash decision. That's really interesting. So talking about quick movement, I don't feel like, honestly, you're in the position of like making difficult decisions. Honestly, I think that you might be actually expanding in some way more so. I don't... I don't feel like this is something that needs to be fought against. Some of you might be observing things. Mm -hmm. And some of you are moving away from the past financially. But the Empress promises to me with the Wheel of Fortune that finances will, will improve. And there will be a sense of uh, like perhaps like luxury or increase okay this also could come from past endeavors as well okay that's one thing i'm feeling like it's like somehow your past is involved in this maybe it's a skill you've had for a long time or you're acting upon that and so it's going to lead you somewhere financially this also could be rewarded for something that you've put a lot of effort in maybe for some of you there you're rec being recognized some of you might also have some sort of opportunity or offer that comes from a distance Okay, that might require moving and traveling. And maybe some of you will be a little apprehensive. Do I choose it or not? That sort of feeling, okay? But again, I feel like finances, 
are good, you're capable. There might be certain struggles, but again, I think with hard work effort, you can release any sort of issues. I feel like, again, there is some sort of message from Spirit saying to take a look, observe what's going on, scrutinize it, see what's happening, and then how you can kind of fix it going forward, okay? Especially if you are struggling financially, okay? So maybe it would be like how to better spend your money, that sort of thing. But in general, I do feel like that there are strong changes coming your way in terms of of finances and they're more for the positive okay but again it might take a little effort and observation on your part anyway that is your reading for those of you that chose group number oh interesting i knocked over problematic behavior so what are the toxic behaviors from you or from others that are present in your life right now what needs to be acknowledged and dealt with so this might be re-examining your problematic behavior when it comes to your finances do you know i mean maybe again spending habits or or things of that nature. Maybe it's holding yourself back, not applying because you're too shy, you're not trusting yourself, that sort of thing as well. But anyway, if you like this reading, I'd love to hear about it below in the comments. I wish you would subscribe. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice to have you around. But also, if you want extra content, you can join my, mem my membership area on YouTube and get extra pick of art videos and stuff like that. And if you want a personal reading, that's all in my Etsy store as of this recording. You know, in the future, I'd always double check the description box to see if it's still where to go, you know, just in case I do make a website at some point. But as of this filming, I still have my Etsy and everything's good there. Anyway, I hope this helped and I'm just sending you so much love and light in your life and I hope for the best financial abundance for you in the future, okay? Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello my friends, if you chose the last group here, group number four with this Aura Rose Quartz, this is your reading. So let's find out what is coming for you in terms of your finances. So we'll start with these two Lenormand cards and then we will continue with tarot and all that sort of thing. So we have the sun and the woman. So first of all, this could mean that you're a very bright <laughs> type of woman as an example, especially for those of you that represent, you know, a feminine energy. This can show also a lot of char charismatic uh, kind of personality. This can show also that there's more exposure to a woman. So if you are a woman who's trying to be getting exposure, <laughs> this can actually be a really good omen. You might get the exposure that you need, the attention that you need. Your attention might be growing. As an example, you might be radiating a warmth that really draws people in, okay, which can actually increase your finances. But of course, the sun is just generally a very happy and positive card. And this can talk about, you know, a sense of success, okay? So financial success, especially since we're asking about your finances. <laughs> so financial success seems to, 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 be, to be good. And for some of you, of course, this could be seeking uh, the attention of maybe such a woman, as an example, who may favor you or help you financially in some way. So here we go. What is coming up in finances? And one more. What door is opening here? Oof, we got one and two. And one fell down, so we'll take a look. Okie dokie. So we have got the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of country lands in botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy's traveler odyssey. Whoa, that's interesting. I wonder if some of you are travelers. Or maybe you'll have enough money to travel and explore, as an example. Some of you with the beauty of country lands and botany, that's a really interesting omen for some of you. If you are trying to make money through land, as an example, agriculture growing, as an example, too. We also have begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now, here. Pass this card on. That's very strange. So we have two cards that talk about travel. I wonder if some of you might have an opportunity to travel for work or make some sort of money in a faraway place. This is really interesting. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so let me know if that's resonating. Now, that might, not, that might not be the case for all of you, but I think that's a really interesting coincidence here that we have two different cards from that deck that indicate travel. So, let's see, what is coming up in terms of finances? 
vitality. This card is just loving to come out today. <laughs> you know what I like about it though? We have clarity and we have transition. So we have some strong intuition and clarity coming your way is what I feel in terms of finances and future choices, okay? So this might actually talk about new beginnings as well. So vitality, I've already read this card like 50 times. <laughs> no, I literally, I think every group has had it, maybe besides one. And this card talks about having the vitality to kind of pursue uh, endeavors as an example. And so we have financial endeavors possibly, uh, obviously, since this is a financial reading. And not, it's not even possibly, it's obviously, <laughs> because that's what we're asking about. But <laughs> Taurus is a sign on that. And so I feel like for a lot of you, uh, we may talk about moving home and that may actually help your finances. There may be something connect connected to your finances in terms of moving. So especially if some of you are wanting uh, some sort of increase to move, I think you're going to get it. You know what I mean? Or if you come here and you're kind of like, will I make more money if I move? He, yeah, you got it. <laughs> you do. You you will. Okay, so we have the carrot uh, with clarity. And that's really interesting as well. So it's the first card, number one. And we also have one in 11. We have 31, 32, 29 as well. So I find progression here. And also synchronistic angel numbers for how it's popping up, that sort of thing. The clarity card, the carrot, it's, it talks about new ideas, breakthroughs and increases in finances and resources are all indicated. And you should trust your own judgment. There is a strong chance of triumph over a difficult challenge and the opportunity for sudden growth in what you're currently undertaking. Nice. Okay. Be careful of overthinking, self-sabotage and roadblocks placed by other people. So, and I kind of notice this watchful eye. So just be careful. I feel like here in terms of like who you share with and that sort of thing, just in case someone gives you some bad vibes. And then we have the cauliflower, number 11. Cauliflower her heralds a change. This might have happened recently, be happening soon, or the energy around a change is unsettled. A rebirth can now take place. And if you're holding on to what was gone before, it's time to let go for good. A reactivation can take place in any area of your life where there's been a lull or setback. Be wary of deceit and corruption. Again, watch out for people, you know, for people who could steal your ideas, as an example. I, I don't like to be that fear monger. I really don't, even though I, I don't sugarcoat my readings. But I would be careful because there might be certain people watching you and they might be kind of prone to steal an idea. Okay, so just be cautious and kind of protect your ideas. There's also the, the possibility that someone could kind of put their negative eye on something, you know, like jealousy. Especially if you're traveling or you seem to be moving forward, even if it's met, uh, metaphorically traveling, right? So, yeah, we have clarity about trend, uh, direction is one thing I feel. Uh, what is coming up financially? So lots of new ideas and breakthroughs. Ooh, the bridge. Bridge over troubled water. 44. Are you freaking kidding me? So we have a 44. We have an 11. We have 111, like essentially, over here. What the heck? finances and home working from home maybe some of you are trying to transition to work from home and then we have the triangle okay 22 so that's so weird 44 22 111 you guys have to be seeing synchronistic numbers when you're getting hot you know like that game where we we would play when we're kids like hot cold hot cold you're really warm right now and I feel like a lot of you it's like these synchronistic numbers if you're seeing them it's kind of like hot 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 like I feel like you guys are on the on the on the uh, cusp of something great financially some of you uh may even be buying a home did I really get 10,000 steps today I'm sitting down oh gosh uh, shuffling cards is such cheating business don't listen to your Fitbit when it does that although I was walking a lot today Okay, <laughs> the bridge. So money matters are improving with great fortune at your feet. This is a wonderful sign of a great improvement to your financial situation. It's a good sign of new ventures with financial growth. So very, very, very uh, good thing here. And of course, bridges represent travel and also the ability to kind of overpass something as well, right? So maybe going over some sort of water or difficulty, right? Because Bridges really solve some problems for us in terms of transportation, <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> and then we have number 19, which is the 
uh, house. And the house can talk about safety and protection of your hard-earned money and uh, keeping it private and secure. The house can symbolize family money or family inheritance. So I feel like for some of you, this is working from home, to be honest. Uh, again, some of you may be putting some sort of financial, maybe some of you are going to be buying a house or you're actually uh, going to get approved for a loan or there might be something here about home. I really do feel it strongly for you guys. There's something to do with home. This could be about moving, again, buying a home, refinancing, something good here. And of course, you know, bridge over troubled waters. When I think of that song automatically when I see the bridge and just the vibe of the reading. And then we have the triangle, number 22. The triangle can represent a three-way partnership in business or financial agreements, and although it's a little complex, it can indicate very good success. Take your time in large money matters, and if necessary, pause until you're clear about the terms of your investment. So that's a really interesting little tip there. Of course, this might be about making sure you get the right choice out of something as well if you're making some sort of big investment. You know what I mean? Like double check maybe as well. But I think it'll all go like pretty well, uh, to be honest. Okay, so what is coming up financially for this group? Oof. Oh, we've got the world. So I feel like a lot of you are actually hitting some sort of success benchmark, okay? So again, it feels like maybe like a strong investment, maybe property of some kind, or again, there might be uh, financial success or completion, like there's a sense of feeling good. Some of you, may, maybe you're paying off a loan so you can actually you know, do something more better with your money. <laughs> As an example, make a better investment or, you know, a new investment. For others of you, the world can indicate recognition. And again, for some of you who work from home, this might be a rise in popularity. You might be attracting more customers or more people to you, okay? So the world is, is a really good card of success, to be honest. And again, recognition. What the, f <clears throat> okay. So, wow, you have the High Priestess <laughs> and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You know this is coming. You feel it. I feel like a lot of you must feel it. You just know something's going to break through. You just know it. You feel it. It's coming. You're intuitively connected. You know it. And this is confirmation. If you feel like there's something that's bound to change soon, you're right, okay? Now, for some of you that work in like maybe tarot or astrology or or people who are working in the esoteric fields or something like that with the high priestess of course this could mean a stable business okay for some of you and i know some of you watch me uh that do this so <laughs> you know what i mean so this can be good again ten of pentacles there's some sort of pivotal thing coming up in in career in i mean in finances maybe career too sorry that was a misspeak on my part but it could be career too you know where it's like you finally get security this is beautiful. You might be, and even with begin here, I, I just, my eye caught that again. And it says here, do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now and here. And I feel like for some of you, if you've been thinking about starting something new, maybe if you've been apprehensive about it, this is saying, hey, metaphorically travel into that new thing. Begin that new thing. It's going to take you places. You're drawn to it for a reason. Okay. Ooh, well, who we got? Iris. Transformation, change, and enchantment. She who changes. Yeah, there are definitely some positive changes coming here. I see that snake band on her arm and the moon on her forehead. It makes me really feel like... And there's... Man, and then there's that bird. It almost looked like there was a snake wrapped around her too. And snakes to me can represent transition and changing. But, oh shit. Oops. Kamala, she who emerges. Enlightenment, mindfulness, and rising up. So again, I feel like for some of you, there might be some strong enlightenment that's happening in terms of finances and understanding how to kind of emerge. And again, there's that she who emerges, emerging. I really feel like something's happening with your finances where there's a sense of like kind of a breakthrough through the soil. It's like you're finally budding. You're starting to flower, that sort of thing. It's like, oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be under the ground for forever. You know, it's funny. I was feeling kind of down yesterday and sometimes when I do, I turn on this stupid app that I have that does like radio frequencies or like, and so I could try to see if I'd get a message from my sister and I didn't hear anything yesterday. I remember I was kind of bummed out because I was like, nothing's happening. Is she even there? And I was just kind of feeling down and out like I do sometimes. You know what I mean? If you've lost someone, you probably have felt that too, where you just kind of are like, are they there still? Uh, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and I'm weird. But I remember uh, feeling that way yesterday and... Uh, <clears throat> 
I got two words did pop off eventually and I got a word and then I got worm <laughs> and it, it was just sort of thinking about how the worm kind of like maintains all the soil down below and does so much good stuff and then eventually the plants pop out and they get to shine <laughs> and so I feel like for some of you there's that moment and I don't know why that word worm thing because it was so weird because I was saying, thinking today I was like what the hell is a worm do and now it just came to me suddenly so it's like kind of confirming my own thought but that's kind of weird an award. I thought maybe it was my sister saying because my daughter won an award uh, for her drawing uh, or whatever. And so I was like, oh, maybe it's her saying congratulations. But then the worm and I was like, what? <laughs> but maybe I was meant to hear it for right now at this very moment. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes that's how it goes, right? But yeah, this is like about changing, emerging enchantment. I feel like a lot of you are going to have a very enchanting vibe to you. Maybe somehow you're really able to attract attention or draw people in is one thing I'm really getting. And we have swath and swath embrace and self care. This is like, this isn't the bondage. This is not like to swath a baby. It's like to make it comfortable. You know what I mean? To, to come to rock in. There's a sense of comfort and security coming for you and financially. Okay. That's what I feel like where it's like, maybe you can breathe or you're just like, Oh my God, I can't believe I feel this comfortable right now. I never thought I'd be here. And that's just the feeling I get. I don't know if some of you have struggled in the past with that feeling of security, but I feel like that there is a sense of security coming here and recognition and all that good stuff. So finances are looking pretty hot for you guys. To be honest, I really like this reading, uh, <laughs> I have to say, and uh, I'm glad that it doesn't look like really anything. And I mean, my some of my cards can be pretty negative, okay? So they don't bullshit, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, anyway, I really, really hope that, that you enjoyed this reading and I am wishing you the very best. If you do want to have a personal reading with me, that information is all down in the description box and uh, it should be uh, Etsy as of the time of this recording. I do have like a website I'm going to be building. Maybe I'll switch the payments over there at some point. I don't know. It's not like a for sure deal. It's just in case this is timeless. So I don't know when you'll be watching it. So just double check. I won't solicit anyone. Just always make sure you're trying to follow, follow my links from my place and not from some comment or anything like that. Okay. If you want more content, I do have a membership on this channel so you can join up and get more content, more picket cards and stuff like that. So yay for that. And uh, what else? Uh, I think that's all. Oh, if you want to subscribe to my astrology channel and get some more astrology stuff, I've been studying astrology for 17 years. I've been eager and excited to kind of share what I've learned and I have a lot of fun things I want to just, I just love, I love, I live in like breathe astrology. Although I've been doing tarot longer, I guess a, a bit. Astrology is like my true, true love, to be honest. And it started when I was pregnant with my daughter and I was just like, what is Libra? Well, I knew what it was, but I was just so excited to get to know her. And that's what started me on my journey. And I do a lot of like traditional techniques. So, you know, if you like to learn more about traditional astrology, Hellenistic and stuff like that, that's my deal. That's my jam. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd love to see you guys over there. And I love to teach through music and examples. And I want to break down some like, you know, topics that I feel like are really important for astrologers to learn in terms of like derivative houses and why they matter and why aspects matter and why derivative houses uh, matter in the terms of aspects. You know what I mean? And how it all becomes like a big equation. Anyway, so hopefully I'll, you know, I was a teacher for many years. So it's a way for me to kind of share what I've known and then I can learn too because <laughs> then you get feedback and people talk to you and you get to learn even more. So it's all a good deal all the way around. So anyway, sorry for all the rambling. Lots of love to you guys. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you next time.